Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, My Study. And in this video, we are going to go into a CI/CD pipeline creation, a DevOps perspective, and deploy our application to the Elastic Beanstalk. So, what are the steps involved? So, first, we are going to simply deploy a very simple sample app uh, available on uh, AWS documentation. That is a Node.js based application. We are going to deploy on uh, Elastic Beanstalk. Then we'll dive into creating a code pipeline where we are going to use this github as a source then we'll go ahead for the code build but not required we'll just simply skip that particular step because in this particular case there is no specific build step is required and eventually we are going to deploy to the bin stock so now instead of manually deploying all those things as a ci cd pipeline we are just simply going to automate the complete flow afterwards we are going to change some of the things in a code commit those code and observe the new pipeline execution being started and test whatever changes we have applied okay so let me just simply go to aws management console okay so the very first thing is we are going to deploy a sample application on elastic benchstock and the next thing is uh, we'll go to setup for our github account and uh, our code pipeline so let me just create a very simple application which we are going to deploy it so let's say this is for ci cd demo okay uh, ci cd demo environment one that's fine i'll just go ahead with the default domain name because that's where we are not interested node.js i can go ahead and deploy a sample node.js application also so let me just go ahead uh, uh, elastic benchstock node.js sample app so on documentation itself you will be able to get this one okay so if you just have a look at this is the sample application node.js uh, and we have uh, many other also so if you just go to even tutorials also uh, individual apps for this node.js you will get it so let me just download it and i have downloaded this one many times so next thing is uh, let me just extract this part so i'm just going to create let's say in a download uh, ci cd demo okay and here i'm just going to copy the same one let me extract it here okay so everything being extracted let me just remove this now this particular one uh, doesn't contain much stuff if i just open for app.js file so we're just simply going to return this index.html page nothing more than that okay so exactly this particular package we are going to deploy so for that again i just need to uh, compress it and put it into some kind of zip folder so i'll just go ahead with let's say uh, i'm just going to give the name like uh, ci cd version one uh, v1 dot zip okay and the same one i'm just going to upload it from here let's say this is for version 1.0 and let me locate it okay so here just now we have created one folder ci cd demo and ci cd version 1.0 okay no other changes i'll just straight away uh, move to next one uh, with a single instance we want to make it run elastic binge talk uh, service role and here it's just going to be binge talk ec2 profile which we have created earlier so if you don't know how to create those thing how to uh, create those permissions and create and put it into uh, iam role you can always have a look at uh, my earlier videos in the same series okay so this is good enough for us let me just skip to review and we are simply going to create our first ever environment okay so let me submit it okay so now our application is being ready next thing is we have to go to our code pipeline that's where we are going to create a complete ci cd demo part okay meanwhile this particular gets activated we are simply going to go ahead and create our new pipeline and as a source we are not going to use this code commit because the new user you just cannot onboard 
now onwards so if you have existing uh, code commit repository you can definitely use it uh, but uh, we don't have and we don't want to use it because anyhow uh, amazon promotes to use this third party stuff so we'll just go ahead and create a new pipeline now to create this uh, new pipeline we have to have uh, some kind of sources okay so it's for deployment continuous integration or continuous automation now before uh, we go ahead for creation of any of the things uh, we have to have uh, some kind of connection with the github because without this github connection uh, you just cannot have anything so you can have a look at currently i have one uh, connection which i'm not going to use it instead of that i'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you the complete connection stuff how one get created where we are going to uh, upload all our file okay so let me create a new connection so that connection will be from github let's say the connection name i'm just going to give like a connection 2 that is just because the connection one i have given let me connect to github and in another tab i'm just going to log in with my github account okay install new app and i will provide the password so okay so it is being uh, see aws connector for github now earlier also i have provided this access so i don't need to worry about anything okay so you can see enable your enable you to connect the github access okay that's perfectly fine on a github side also we are successfully being logged in into it okay so here we are going to create a new repository i can provide to uh, give access to some specific one instead of that i just want to give to the all repository for now so it will redirect me here and app being installed okay let me just connect it now we don't have any uh, repository currently being created where all the code exists so i'm just going to create a new repository name let's say ci cd bin stock demo that is our app uh, let it make it pep, uh, public also we can make it private also okay let me create a new repository and here all the code i'm just simply going to upload it because from here only we are going to change a lot of things so i can even drag and drop the complete one except my zip folder okay this drag and drop is allowed here or not for now let me just create a sample new file let's say some sample file i'm just going to do the commit changes so i'll have everything here now i can uh, upload the all the code so the code is available here let me just upload it here and i'll just go ahead with the commit comment will be like v1 version okay all right so all the files are currently available now i can go to my environment and you can see environment is successfully being launched if i just try to access this environment our uh, sample page has been displayed now we are going to change a lot of things in this sample page and with our pipeline itself we'll just test it okay whatever change we have reflected that is being deployed or not okay so now you can see connection 2 is also ready at this particular level so now i can go back and let me just go ahead with pipelines so the complete CI/CD uh, flow we are going to create now. So for that, I have to create new pipeline. In the pipeline, we are not going to create from the template. Instead of that, it's just going to be a custom pipeline. Okay. Let's say the pipeline name very simple one. P1, I'm going to give it. Uh, it is just going to be queued instead of parallel or a super stated. Okay. So here the pipeline version V2 is required. And that's perfectly fine. It's just going to create. A new service role although i have already this uh, code available but i'm going to create a new one and i'll show you what are the permission being added in advanced one where it is going to store all those artifacts and encryption key let's just go ahead with the default one next what is my source provider so i'm just going to go ahead with the github you can definitely give the other one like a ecr 
S3. So with all those one, uh, we'll create a different demo. So for now, GitHub. So GitHub with the connection number two, it's already being established. So it's just going to fetch all those repository and repository which uh, we are going to use that is CI CD bench talk demo. Just now we have created here. We are interested in a main branch itself code pipeline, the default output uh, format. Okay, trigger type. So based on any push, it just going to uh, trigger our build or complete CI CD demo. So which branch you want to include? So that will be a main branch. Let me press next. And in case of build, we just want to skip this build step because whatever code we uploaded, there is nothing to build here. It just needs to deploy directly. So in case of, uh, let's say uh, at a build level, you want to perform some step like uh, Java build or C++ kind of uh, program. You want to build something and create some binary and eventually those binary you want to deploy. But here you don't need to worry about those stuff. Okay. So uh, we are just simply skipping those particular step. Uh, build step so i'll just go ahead with a skip build that's fine because we don't have anything uh, next where you want to deploy it so deployment stage will be your elastic bench talk and just now we have created this uh, application that is ci cd demo see ci cd demo under ci cd demo the environment name will be ci cd demo environment which we have created next and bang on let me create the pipeline so the moment we create the pipeline, it's just the configuration. There is nothing execution will be started. All right. So everything is available here and it's being queued. Now what we are going to do in our GitHub site, I'm just going to change little bit stuff from here. So let's say in index.html page, uh, whatever this congratulation being written, let's say I'll just go ahead with the right, like a congratulation version, uh, v2 okay so that's what written here so i'll just go ahead and do some change the moment i change you will be able to see the new trigger will be started so let's say it's a version 2.0 and i'll just go ahead with the committing stuff update uh, index.html with version 2.0 okay now moment uh, push happens we'll be able to see here uh, there has to be some uh, pipeline should have been started. If you can look at the history, there is some in progress stuff. Let me just go back once again. And there are some stage uh, already being executed. Okay. And if you just have a look at the environment, if I just try to refresh it, see the new environment updates also being started with the version 2.0. The moment this environment will be updated, we'll be able to see that here we should have a congratulation version 2.0. See deployment being currently going on, source currently being fetched. There is nothing in a code build part. See deployment is going on, source being finished. Okay, so let's just wait for some time and complete it. So I can just go ahead and let me refresh and bang on. See immediately we change uh, anything on our core site we push and commit all those changes the new pipeline execution immediately being started now all those historical pipeline whatever you are executed that is available here okay so first the pipeline being created then being pushed because of push the execution being started and execution took uh, 53 seconds if you want to know in detail about uh, those particular execution, you can just go ahead and have a look at uh, the individual source and deployment stage. Let's just try to change one more stuff. Uh, let's say uh, I just want to change the color of this uh, green to let's say something else. I don't know which particular one uh, will be affected. Okay, I think this color might be. Let's just change any of the stuff. Uh, let's say I'll just make it like red. Okay, I think this way red will work. Let me commit the changes. And we are expecting that new execution should have been started. See, immediately the new execution being started. Now here we will be able to see 
whatever uh, execution being started the complete timeline you will be able to see see source part currently being succeeded and deployment part in progress so here also deployment is currently going on meanwhile uh, we can just refresh this one and bang on you can have a look at red to green that means immediately we'll be able to see all those change and we have successfully established the complete CI/CD pipeline demo okay with this uh, sample node.js application now with this uh, i have to clean up all the my resources so i'll just go ahead and let me just go ahead with uh, i guess connection okay uh, in the connection part uh, there is a one thing being completely missed moment we provided any kind of permission to our github account uh, i mean aws to access our github account uh, there are permission also needs to be uh, granted that what kind of uh, operation needs to be performed on your a repository like a read permission write permission whether you can be able to push you can be able to read those comments or everything so those setting you have to do on a github site now in my case already this uh, connection one being established so it didn't ask for anything otherwise you can always go ahead to your uh, github account and within a github account let's say we have a setting uh, within a settings we have a uh, developer settings here uh, you just need to create some personal token and that needs to be done for the first time only when you need to do now this access matter uh, for the third party from the github it varies from time to time so you always go ahead with the flow and whatever uh, permission it will ask you just need to provide those permission so that aws or any other third party can access your repository okay so our ci cd demo has been completed so this particular application also i'm just simply going to delete it i don't require let me select this one delete and the connection we have uh, removed next thing is uh, okay on uh, not deployment but the pipeline needs to be removed so i'll just go ahead with a pipeline I don't require this pipeline anyhow it doesn't make sense actually whether you delete or not because this connection itself we have deleted so no source code will be fetched and if there is no source code being fetched uh, you won't be have, having a I mean execution of those particular pipeline will be started okay so application uh, shutdown is also going on our connection also being deleted and our pipeline also being deleted all right everyone i hope you enjoy listening this particular video please do like and comment on my video and please 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 do subscribe my uh, channel so that i can keep creating such a great content on aws